Okay, so today's tip is on direction. Now, and I'm probably as guilty of this as anybody's, we tend to make bowling a lot more complicated than it really needs to be. And we all know that the five skills for scoring is direction, speed, angle, rev rate, and roll, okay? The most important one is direction. It's the foundation of bowling as we know, okay? So what I have here to demonstrate this is a laser that's on a straight line. And what I want you to imagine is the center of your hand, okay, which is attached to the ball, if we can get our hand to move up and down this line, right, I'm going to be very, very accurate. So like I suggest, if we, we understand specto numbers, for example, this represents launch angle. Now we know at the pro level, launch angle, the, the uh, statistic or the goal is to get your launch angle within 15 shots within 0.6. That means from the furthest miss right to the furthest miss left is 0.6 degrees. Okay? I will tell you it takes no talent to achieve that. Everybody can be pretty accurate on this line if we understand one thing. How do I get my hand, the center of my hand, to pass through this line? Well, it's really simple, right? Our maker said the way they develop our bodies is that our arms tend to move perpendicular or 90 degrees to my hips. So if I can get on the line of play to where my hips are perpendicular and I'm going to need a little bit of spine angle, both forward and to the side, to allow for space of the ball, that if I'm on this line and I take a step and my foot is parallel left of this line, which is the line of play, and my shoulder is down, that my arm will automatically pass through this line. Now what's interesting is some of you are going, well, no kidding, coach. Well, I can tell you that almost 100% of my lessons last year Nobody was on the line of play. So now the swing or the arm, this palm, that we're trying to go down this line is moving tangent to this line. Because it has to, because the body is pointed in a different direction than where we're trying to throw the ball. You would never throw in a ball, either overhand or underhand, and not step towards the target. So all we really have to do is identify the line of play and get our body in a position to where this hand automatically goes down the line. And then from the top of the swing, we're just gonna take a step forward, and guess what my arm is gonna do? It's gonna go through my face and down this line so that the center of my hand goes down that laser beam, okay? The closer we can get to this, the more improvement you're gonna see. And what's, what's really cool, ball speed increases, rev rate increases, and because your hand's coming from up the back of the ball instead of around it, by, it, by addressing this simple concept, not, uh, the, um, the type of roll or how the ball's gonna come off your hand is also gonna improve. So just stick with this concept. You can do something like this at home with tape or a mirror. There's a lot of different ways you can uh, uh, kinda emulate this to kinda get this concept and get your arm to go up and down this target line. I hope this helps, good luck.